back to the Fourth Estate Militia actual play. After a two-week break, the players found themselves again at the mercy of our dear GM Pickled Pops, and we continued designing our mad scientist plan to rescue Red Hot and his crew from the clutches of this joint Spiders Gang and Knight Errant Force residing within the old water treatment plant. Today, we send Juliet in to do a physical recon of the area, and hopefully not get murdered. It's time to begin episode 55. We may not be able to help you right away. All right, so is it worth it to try and get the fly spy moved? Or, I mean, bring, in, bring it back in and put it on the south? Or, or do you guys want to just move? I'm just worried because we don't really know what is on the southern end, and I don't, like, I don't want to volunteer somebody else to be sneaky and to, to try to put some eyeballs on it because I'm just, I'm, I'm not a sneaky I, I'm not sneaky. I, I can't do it myself. Uh, I would. The much... only one who would have a chance is uh, is Juliet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do that. I mean, could you get maybe, I don't know, somewhere within a mile that has a sight line and just watch it with some binoculars? Yeah. You know, Where... that would put you at you... Low, lower risk, right? Hang on the map, would you? Where you're thinking exactly? Because I'm still trying to find. Okay. So the, the original fly spy was put. Uh, I'll ping. It's by the purple at the. Okay. Yeah, and it would be good to have Juliet out there with her own rifle because that way, she can help coordinate the outriders. Do we need a spare sniper rifle that Juliet can grab? Uh, I mean, I'm. I mean, you could take one of the Rugers from from our guys. That's fine. Eh. Okay. Forget that. AK-97. It is. Pickled from the red to, say, the OKC. How far is that? 300 meters, give or take. Okay, 300 meters is... Yeah, that's fine. It's big, but it's not... We're massive. looking at long range, and Julia can cut that down to medium easy, so we just want like a negative one with her 90, K97. All right, yeah, it works. She will be popping up on top of the red building to play lookout. And she has her shiny new suit with RPC on it to make sure that she gets up there and actually does play the invisible man. First, I'm going to need a stealth check to get over there without being spotted. Okay, that was just getting up to the fence. So you're able to, to sneak your way through, get up to the fence, and then you have to clear the fence. It is topped with razor wire, so it's going to be fairly difficult to, to get over. Are we looking at gym? Oh, I'm sorry, one second. Yeah, this would be gymnastics using strength. Now, now, did um, you just want to do some Overwatch from a distance, or or are you going in? Uh, she's going into the on top of the building to make sure that she can get the perfect view. Ooh, okay. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> this is Juliet. Is there is there anything I can do to support you? Um. Leadership, maybe like like if you guys want to be posted up around like covering her just in case, you guys could do that. I mean, she'll have her usual B and E bags worth of goods on her, which is you know gecko tape, gloves, glue sprayers, C squared, endoscope, auto picker, that all that fun stuff. My Ultrasonic noise generator. The reason I ask is in case um, in case you're spotted, we may not be able to help you right away. And there's mm. a lot of dudes here, right? Fair point. Having a little support might be might be useful. Just one problem with that. This is Juliet. She's not used to thinking about her being that part of a team and having backup. Just because we started I mean you guys can't be you guys couldn't have talked about this before. More or less everybody would be discussing this saying we might want eyes on it. People to go would you know pan to Juliet and then she'd say, uh okay. Fine, fine. That's my level bag. All right, bye guys. I'll talk. To you. And she'd just be walking off. To her All right. Well, how, how would you feel about a fly spy doing some Overwatch? She probably wouldn't even ask for that. And if Horatio asked, it'd be uh, sure. Can I slave it to your deck for for the sleaze? You're talking problem? improv there. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, well, let's let's do that. That way, at least if. Uh... If you're spotted, you might have some advance notice, right? Horatio, how close are you, are you keeping the fly spy to Juliet? 
I'm thinking like 100 meters in the air, so it can have a nice bird's eye view. Because uh, if it's really close to her, it won't see the guy on the far side of the compound that notices a, a ripple in the air, right? Okay, that's fair. Would you like a, a sneaking roll for that? Um, No, but give me either Eeyore or Perception. Let's go with Perception. Uh, would Would visual matter? That would help, yes. Do one for visual and then one for everything else. And tetrachrome would not apply, right? No, because you were, if you're jumped in, you're using uh, its eyes, not yourselves. That's fair. Yeah, for, from 100 meters up, everything seems like it's going okay. The two people who were patrolling the side don't seem to notice her. Like, a couple of them actually like scan over top of where uh, you know she is just from your uplink with her, and everything seems to be fine. To get over the razor wire without hurting yourself, you're looking at a threshold six because this is a pretty tall fence, and that's just to clear it. Any less, you're going to get snagged by the razor wire well, if you glitch. I assume the climbing spec applies. Yes, most definitely. Nice roll. All right, so yeah, um, you're able to, to clear yourself up and over. How does she get past the, the razor wire over this? I mean, she's got wire cutters, but she figures that that might be noticed. So it would probably be that sort of flip in the air where she's hanging on with her fingers just below the top and then pushes herself up. I don't know how to describe it. I've got it in my uh, head. Like, like but... almost, almost like doing like a flagpole? Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So you're able to get yourself up and over? Yeah, uh, give me one more sneaking test to get yourself in place. Sure thing, Mom. And are you running anything wireless? Uh, no. Okay, just <laughs> want to make sure. New five hits. Plenty to get through. And then how are you getting up top? Are you looking for a ladder? Are you gecko gloving your way up? Well, first thing we're going to do is another perception test to see what kind of sensors we're looking at, if any, around the area, including the building that's in front of you. Okay. Uh, make me that test. Whenever you get yourself up and over, you notice that there is a sensor array uh, across the front of the building. It's like a thin... It, it's kind of hard. It was hard to notice from far away because it's just a thin strip. It almost looks like, like it's actually been painted over, but mm. not quite. That goes around about 15 feet up the side of the building. goes all the way around. goes all the way around it. Huh. How high up is it? About 15 feet. And when you get closer, you can tell like what it is because it's a, it's a reflective surface. But from the direction that you're at, like, you can tell, like, okay, there's light coming off of this here. She's just going to tag it in augmented reality for uh, the flies and then scrupulously avoid it. See if she can circle around the side of the building in the spot where there's not another array. Or is there an, one on every side of the building? It, it, yeah, it goes completely all the way around the building. Oh boy, so it's one long strip. Darn it. But so far, nobody's come to investigate you. Things seem to be okay, mm. so... Can she see anything else in this? Or interesting? Like, stuff that would be able to... Do you completely circle the building? Or are you just along the south side? Yeah, at this uh, point she's circling. For? She is not liking that strip at all. Okay, if she takes her time to go all the way around, you notice the east, the east, west, and north all have an entrance. The east okay. and west both have like roll-up garage style doors. And then the front itself has two separate entrances that are just your basic metal doors. Are there any external ladders up to the top of the building? Yes. There is one on the south side and one more on the northeastern, like oh, there's one on the south southwestern corner, and the one on the northeastern corner. Okay. Do they also have the sensor strip running over? It, it goes like goes behind the ladder. Yeah. Okay, that's not help then. Yep. Through there. Uh, this sort of building is there usually some kind of. Roof access from the inside of the building. 
would I be able to you to make like an uh, make like a engineering knowledge or something based on what I think this building is? Using? Yeah. Or you always have to fly spy up above it. You could look for that as well. It is, but I'd rather minimize the amount this thing's flying around. You know what I mean? No, that's fair. Yeah. All right, go ahead and make it be your roll. And this would be industrial. Sure. Industrial spec over there. Yeah. With this sort of facility, it would be very rare for you to not have something on the inside that would that would lead to the yeah. top. Most likely probably like a ladder to a trap door or something, right? Because I'm assuming this is like a flat roof building. Yeah. Yeah. Like you guys would know that for sure, like from like when you flew over. It's a flat roofed building. The roof is actually sunk is actually down below like the the edge of what you see from the ground. There's like a three or four foot high wall to keep people from walking over and falling for anyone who's working on the roof. Such handy cover. Uh, yeah. Well, ladies and gents, I'm not going to worry about that uh, sensor strip. It's kind of freaking me out. So, and she's going to circle around to those garages and see if they're open or if they're have people moving through them at any time. You don't see anybody coming in and out of those. The fence itself seems to be a later addition to this place mm-hmm. uh, because it comes comes within about seven or eight feet of the building itself. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how are the garage doors locked down? Do they look like mag locks, some kind of mechanical lock? Uh, you can't tell from here. From whatever mechanism it is, it appears to be on the inside. Okay. Well, you, you then... can potentially get an endoscope underneath one. Like if you pulled it up and tried that way, because I know she has one of those. Hmm. Yeah, why the heck not? Let's try that. A bit safer than just stomping over a uh, sensor strip and hoping for the. All right. Uh, give me a lift and carry. So oh strength, strength plus body. There we go. Okay. Are you happy with that amount of successes? No. Uh, yes. You have a hard time finding a, a place to get your fingers in, but you eventually find a little ledge, like where the door itself would bend. You're able to lift it up just enough to fit your endoscope underneath. On the inside, it's just it's secured tightly down with a chain that just has like a padlock holding it in place. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Like there's like a pulley system uh, using that chain that just kind of runs around in a circle, but it's been cinched down by a padlock. How thick is this? Not very. Uh, the door itself is, yeah, at most a quarter inch of a, of steel. At most, because she has a mini welder. Uh, does she have any industrial engineering knowledge or anything like that? Yeah, I believe she does actually. Not that she can have throw many dice in it, but uh, uh, for those architecture through their feet, could we also assist this? She said she didn't have anything marvelous going, so I'm communicating to improv with sub vocal. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, this is where Juliet's paranoia just kicks in full force. From ganger to infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs> She's just always thinking about the worst possible option. What could happen? In this case, someone spots the flame, or there's a heat sensor on the freaking sensor strip. And you don't have a matrix perception on it to know what it is. Well, she knows it's an f- actual padlock and chain. Did the said padlock and chain look solid? I mean, as solid as something that's probably been abandoned for 15, 20 years can be. <laughs> okay. The, the, pa- the padlock looks fairly new, but the chain itself, you definitely see some rust on it. Uh, choices, choices. Fine, she's going to double check the last option, which is doors. Are there people on the inside that she can see? Is it reflective glass? It's or literally maybe? just a steel door. Oh, okay. Um, she's totally overthinking this. And a scope around it, either under the slip or through the broken glass. You would see four or five people that are within, that are just in the main area of this room. Again, this is an industrial building, so it's fairly open. Uh, the people inside, they don't 
They're, they're not dressed in any sort of uniforms. Does Julia have armor? Mm-hmm. Would you mind rolling that real quick? Yeah, it looks like they might be making mortars or drugs or something like that. But there's there's several different workbenches uh, throughout here. A lot of okay. the old machinery has been cleared out. Uh, you, you still have some of the large tanks because water treatment plant. But they looks like they've been cut into or modified or changed around. You just see people working away on various workbenches throughout here. But you only see like four or five people. And they're working. Uh, like, they're working okay. like in a small, like assembly line. Gotcha. Is anybody close to or otherwise paying attention to the door? Not from what you can see. No. Are the hinges of the door on the outside? Yes. Her leader can of ultra glide lubricant is coming out and being a couple of drops being squeaked on the hinges before she opens it. Would that's, anybody? That's really clever. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> again, paranoia. So she lubes the door, and then she opens it and slips through as quickly as she can. Hey, now, be fair, that's, that's an old Dungeons & Dragons trick. You know it. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I've, heard, I've heard of that in Dungeons & Dragons, but I never would have thought to apply it to Shadowrun for some reason. It's really clever. But yeah, uh, the, the door itself just swing, you know, swings right open. It seems like a good thing, too, because... You don't, like you feel it stick for just a second as you're opening it, and then it just slides on its own, fairly quietly. <laughs> and she's in, and she's looking for the ladder up. She's also checking out those workers to see if they're armed, and if so, with what? These guys are definitely not armed. They're at best in armored clothing. Oh, good. Tire pack, please. The lady scampers for the nearest ladder and on the inside. Make me a sneaking check. Sure thing, boss. Wow, five hits all the way. Man, okay, yeah, uh, you're able. You're able to work your way through. You you see several more tables uh, that have various uh, various workers, people who are obviously like who act, who obviously live in the barrens. They're a little emaciated. Their skin's a little sunken in and uh, sallow. You see a, a, on most of them obvious signs of. Some sort of drug abuse or something like that. All of them are trying to keep their head down. You, you see a handful of the spiders mixed with KE, but instead of wearing like the full body armor, they're in armored jackets or vest. The spiders or the KE? The, the spiders who look like they've been equipped by KE. I yeah. guess would be the best way to put it. And you're, you're able to pick your way through until you eventually find a... It's not a direct ladder up to the roof. You have to climb like like up a ladder onto a catwalk, up another ladder, up to an, uh, up to another catwalk that eventually leads you to a trap door. Okay. Would she have noted anything that looks like a black box or other matrix hub? Uh, not in here, no. And especially not without a uh, perception, a matrix perception test. Okay, fair enough. Uh, did she get a head count of the number of spiders passing through? Or just loitering around? Uh, you only see four here who okay. are um, just on the inside. I'm assuming that she's making a pretty direct line yeah. to get into the roof. Yeah, you so only see about thought. four of them with, with about a, um, another dozen or so various workers in here. Okay. If she'll pass the numbers on. Moving on. She is going to scamper up ladders. Is there anything, anything locked blocking her way up to the roof? Nope. Okay. She is up on the roof then, I guess. Is there anything unusual on the roof other than the usual scattered, you know, fans and grills and stuff? You do see three, three people who are in the FBA with uh, some sort of larger firearm just on the outside posted up. So they're on the roof, lounging about the near the edge. Yeah. Mm. This is impressive. What kind of weapons do they have? I would need a firearms knowledge roll. Oh, yes, please. You don't know exactly which ones they are, but you're fairly certain that it, just based off the size of whatever they're carrying, that it's at least an assault rifle. A shotgun wouldn't make much sense, but a sporting rifle or potentially even a sniper rifle. 
Oh my. The larger antimaterial antimaterial rifles are pretty um Oh yeah, they're very substantial. If if they are a sniper rifle per se, it'd be like a shortened barrel again at best the uh the desert the Ares Desert Strike. Okay. Good to know. My greed hasn't triggered. Uh, well, we're going to scamper over to the edge and then see what we can see. Uh, which edge are you going to? The northern? Okay. Um, you go over to it. The building closest to you, this little blue area right here, doesn't appear to have actually anybody up top. And the building itself, while this one like looks to be in fairly good repair, a large portion of the roof that you can see, because this is a taller building, has actually caved in. And there's very little uh, up top. And from what you could, which from what you can hear, th there's very little that's going on in there. There's just not a whole lot that's obvious from where you're at. Okay. How long do you stay there just watching this area? Oh, she can go still and, well... She's just fine right there, honestly. So she can probably stay there for an hour or two while the rest of the guys put together this little ambush. Juliet's just going to assume that she's there for the rest up until the whole thing. Speaking of which, boys, are we all ready for this? I mean, there's not much else to do, is there? I mean, based on what I've you've seen, it certainly seems like there's not nearly as many people in the southern area as the northern area, right? Which mm -hmm. is good. And I can take that, care of these three. But I'm just saying, like, that's good because when the entire north half of this compound is just deleted, which is what's going to happen when that truck explodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I based on our calculations last time, that's what's going to happen. I like you a lot better when the explosions are away from me. <laughs> but didn't you yeah. guys have, like, a bomb that was 700p? Yeah, it was, like, it was something ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. We figured so, out that it would basically level everything up until the green building on the left side of the map, that basically literally everything north of that is just going to be fucking parking lot. Yeah, and so we figured we have to move the bomb up a little bit because um, our guy is in, the, is in the middle blue building. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, yeah so we're going to have to move it so that it just completely obliterates purple, orange, and yellow. But I mean, I'm because I mean that whole area is just going to be deleted. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, but just being honest from GM perspective, yeah, most likely. I mean, I mean, a hundred meters out, it's still doing five hundred p. So, that. <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't want to segue away from uh, from Juliet's recon, but the one thing yeah. I'm wondering is. No, 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 go ahead. Because this this originally was like a water treatment plant. The only one that I have ever been even remotely near to, there was like basically like huge because they they built one in, in northern Medellin, like on the way up to where we have our lake house. They they built one up there for to make better like clean drinking water for the northern half of the valley, and there are like huge ass, not not quite enough to be a retaining pond or like a like a, a proper reservoir but like just giant tanks that have to be like in the hundreds of thousands if not millions of gallons and well, they have, what do you think the big blue circles are well the thing is, is that what they have because they have to go through the treatment like there's the, like the initial filtering area which is kind of what i was assuming those blue buildings were there were like six foot diameter pipes that led from the buildings that's where all the chemicals and everything were applied into the yes. holding tanks yes those exist here Okay, because that could provide us a way to get into those buildings to get Red Hot and his people out. That's possible. The other possibility is the wall has has ceased to exist. Well, I, I <laughs> both work. I keep thinking in terms of like if we're we're going to use our gang to to do a lot of this. Like the bomb is going to be a huge yeah. distraction. I'm letting the cockatrices go just with orders to to stun everything, like paralyzing touch everything that's that's not us. And I'm thinking if we go in as like Alpha Strike Force Alpha, because I thought that one through, and we actually do the, the Sneaky Pete entry, it's a lot less likely for us to have to fight all of the cops. If for we, sure. Yeah, if we find a way to sneak in. Remember that the yellow-orange building was their barracks? So we should be getting rid of a lot of the present force that way as well. Yes. 
Okay. Just to put that out there, the dark blue lines are how these are connected by the large tubes that Sartlek was talking about. Okay. okay. Perfect. Why do we care about anybody but Red Hot? Remind me. You know, this like sometimes sometimes you gotta slaughter a few chickens to get some eggs. <sighs> Just tell me when I want when I get to kill them all. Okay, please. Yo, yo, we already talked about this. We ain't gonna be killing the cops. I don't care what you do with the spiders, but but yo, you, you kill cops, you got cops coming Fine, after you. Fine, I'll knock them out and strip them. Just hurry up. You went to some weird trick, girl. Million. That's all I can say. Dwarves. They can't help it. Don't don't tell her that, though. That'll just make her mad. So have we been able to discern if the big tanks are still full of water, or if they are empty, or if they're housing something else? Currently, you guys have no idea. Juliet, uh, you said you stayed here for about an hour or so, right? After you're here for about probably 30 minutes or so, you do see a uh, a group of two come pulling up in like a side-by-side ATV top vehicle. And they uh, like they, they pull up along beside this building, raise up a door, and just looks like they're just chucking trash out of the back of it into the blue building. <laughs> okay. These two are look like normal workers. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. They're in, um, they're chatting, and goofing off, and they have weapons, but they're mm-hmm. not in any official like any more of like the colors or uniforms that you. Okay. Most of the other people in. So step underneath, or just more casual than the KE folks. Okay. All right then. Oh boy! Can we get our snipers in position now? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We can do that. <laughs> I like I like the okay. response. It's good. Should we get everyone in position? Yes. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still so used to like the two and a half hours of leg work, and we're just like, eh, let's just hit the detonator. I mean, we've done enough research, right? I mean, we're going to wipe off the, <laughs> half the camp off the map, and the rest can be taken out by the old-fashioned bullets and all that fun stuff. Juliet will be at want about 30 seconds, probably, before you hit the detonator button to see if she can silently take down these three on the road. Just for fun. You don't have any gas grenades, do you? Um, let's see. What did she have? I, you, I was going to say, I thought you guys picked up some. Yeah, but whether or not she has them on. Pepper her, punch. Right? Pepper punch uh, that's noticeable. Do you have any neurostun? No. What she does have is a taser and her fists. Both work. Although if we detonate the bomb nearly after you do your thing, or at the same time, it probably won't matter. Yeah, agreed. All right, so as, as I understand it, we're going to send the bomb in on the north end to turn all of that into Iraq Part 2. And then we're just going to make a beeline straight for <laughs> Red Hot's building, blow the wall in if it's not already down, cut some locks off the cells, get his people out, and then rush him back to our place so we can disable the cranial bombs? Yes. Uh, would it be possible to spend a little bit of time, I mean, this would be more on, on improv, uh, just looking up the specifics about kink bombs and how to disarm them just to speed up the process so it's one of those... We get them back. We throw them straight in the uh, the Valkyrie, and we start going to work. Like we just like kind of like pre do all the research on that end. Sure, I don't know. Um, is is there something I could do to prepare for that pickle? I mean, like beyond having just like having the skill. All right, matrix search wouldn't hurt. Sure. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking like how with uh, riggers can do modifications, and like if you have the AR plans, you get like a plus two kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's that's what I was looking at. Sure. Yeah, yeah. A matrix search would cover that up. Good idea. Look at you guys being clever. I like it. Okay, so I'm assuming you're using brows. Yes, of course. I assume it's going to take time to, to like get our people together and give them their guns and everything. So. Oh yeah. 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 Like, like, yeah. Like I'm not saying like, oh no, you're. Oh, sorry. Julia's going to have to sit there and wait. Like I'm just saying, like it's going to be six hours until you get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you were able to get it. Okay. And need to actually take out the kink bomb. 